long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with Welcome again to Proverbial Wisdom, the time when you and I can spend some time together looking at the book of Proverbs for just about five minutes, looking at what Solomon has said and Solomon has recorded and Solomon has collected in order for us to become better people, in order for us to take a look at the world around us and compare that with well, the world that God would have us to live in. Go ahead and turn to Proverbs chapter 21. Proverbs chapter 21. And we'll begin in just a moment at verse 9. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 9. It is better to live in a corner of the housetop than in a house shared with a quarrelsome wife. The soul of the wicked desires evil. His neighbor finds no mercy in his eyes. When a scoffer is punished, the simple become wise. When a wise man is instructed, he gains knowledge. We'll stop there today. Really, I have two observations. Well, three maybe. Wives and wisdom. And Solomon is saying about the wives, and I'm going to take this a step further. I'm going to take it a step outside and say it's not just about wives, but it's about relationships, marital relationships. It's better to, to live in the corner on, on the rooftop than it is to, to live in the quarrelsome household. And I think the important thing that we need to realize there is that as husbands and wives, we need to work together. We need to be supportive of each other. Yes, we can disagree, but disagree in a way that isn't demeaning of each other or the other person. Disagree in a way that helps to each of you grow better. Don't just argue, don't just be quarrelsome, don't just be hateful, but be constructive in the way that you deal with each other and encouraging in the way that you deal with each other. Because it's better just to, to stay on the roof than it is to live in a house where, where things like that are just a part of daily life. And then verse 11, verse 10 and 11. Are we going to be that wicked person that drives people away, that, that people don't like, that, that people want to get away from? Or we're going to be the person that listens to, to instruction, that listens to correction. The wise are instructed and they learn. The foolish, the scoffer, he may become wise if he listens. But if he doesn't listen, he remains that foolish person. Take time to look at God's word. Take time to listen to people around you that are trying to live godly. And try to learn. When someone corrects you on a spiritual matter, on a lifestyle choice, and it's done because you know that they love you and care about you, and they come at you in a way that is very loving, please understand that they are looking out for what is best for you. If it's a spiritual leader, such as one of the elders of the church, or maybe a minister that you're close to, <laughs> excuse me, they are looking out for, for your best. They're not trying to be condemning. They're not trying to be judgmental. They're trying to help you in your walk with God. It may be that your husband or wife is seeing things in you and says, here are some things that we need to work on. And, and so maybe they're trying to help you grow in your relationship with God. Be that wise person when instructed who listens and learns, especially when that instruction comes from the direction of God. Thank you for joining us today. I look forward to the time that we spend together. Let's close our time together in prayer. Dear God, we thank you so much for your blessings, for your care, and for your love. And Father, help us to be the type of person that is encouraging, even in our even in our instruction that we are helping people to grow and not arguing for argument's sake, not being berating, but being uplifting. Father, help us to listen when people are correcting us, when people are, are talking to us about things in our life. Help us to listen for the good and help us to make the changes that we need to make so that we can be a better person. Father, just because we have been something for our entire life does not mean that's the way we have to be. Because you have given us that wisdom, that discernment, that ability to make the changes in our life. Help us to make those needed changes so that we can be a better encouragement, a better example, and a better follower of you. Thank you for forgiveness that's in Christ. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Thank you again for joining us for Proverbial Wisdom. I do look forward to these. I hope you are as well. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the